There we go, folks. How are you? Uh, so the pop-up show is of our, our very simple little, little show we do here. Uh, I am go out over Facebook, which I want to make sure that Facebook is picking us up. Uh, let me just, uh, let me see here. Where do I, where do I turn this? Where do I get this to, oh, my mind is just, I, I can't operate stuff anymore. This is what's so terrible. Wait a minute, I don't want that. I want this. There we go. Here we go. And I just want to make sure that uh, the pop-up is uh, popping up. There we go. All right. So we're ready to go. Let's bring everybody in here. Let me see here. Let me make sure that all of them are legitimate. Yes, they are all legitimate. Uh, seven people waiting to come on before the show even begins. It was an amazing amount of people. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. There, there's, uh, there's uh, of course, uh, our old friend Edward Berger. That's right. Uh -huh. And my, uh, my favorite wife presently. <laughs> Until the next one comes along, because if she croaks before I do, I plan to remarry. I'm the in between wife. Mm -hmm. I'll marry Paula, is what I'll do. Okay. I can't blame you. Hi, Paula. How are you? Hi. I don't know yeah. if you can stand me. Yeah, she, 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 Mar you, Marjorie stands for a lot. Can we, can we now call you possible <laughs> wife number two? <laughs> I think I sh I'm supposed to be. Um, like complimented by that <laughs> you are, you are uh, oh of course and there is uh, the lovely uh kathleen uh, charlene solas <laughs> just somebody shoot me okay len lafresco <laughs> hello len Good afternoon how are you uh, and of course uh, the lovely mandy hello mandy hi hi you'll be here in a week sitting next yeah. to me Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to fit everybody. And if if uh, uh, Don comes, then the, I don't know how I'm going to fit three people in here. I guess I can. Don can share the room here. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Lay on the bed with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of them I can, I can one. sit on the bed with me. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's I didn't stop to think bed. about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, and uh, hello to all of you. Uh, you know, what we were just doing, I was discussing with Marjorie, uh, because uh, when we come into a certain amount of money, uh, we're going to take uh, very expensive vacations. And I was looking at villas, I'll start with in, one. villas in the south of France. <laughs> and they go for about, you can get them for as low as something like $7,000 a week. <laughs> but the only problem is it doesn't just fit two people. So some of these villas, uh, one of them, the one, one of them that I was looking at said it can take eight people. What time should I be there? Well, that's yes. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what we're going to do? Paula, absolutely. If you man. just take care of your trip there, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> you know, we'll, uh, you know, we'll we'll take reservations for people to come visit and stay with us for the week. What fun! What this my air conditioner is making noise. <laughs> oh, it's stopped. Okay. Anyway, um, so we were thinking about that, you know. I mean, it's it's uh, there. Some of them are very nice. They all got big swimming pools, and some, some of them are right on a. Cl Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you Turn talking off, to, Alex? Huh? Turn it off. What? It's just I gotta go. I'm at home, so I gotta go go hit something. <laughs> Stop now. If he yeah. goes in and hits Marjorie, as soon as it as soon as I said I was gonna go over and hit it, it shut up on me. <laughs> oh no, what? Do it again. <laughs> oh well. Can you hear it at all? No. no. Oh, okay, well then screw it. You make it's all the noise problem. you want, damn it. <laughs> but anyway, so I mean that we could we could have people like, you know, you want to come? You know, you, you gotta get over there, but that after that. You know, you got a week in a villa. If you got good money, Alex, fly first class. Don't 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 go coach. 
<laughs> well, no, they, there are some that go up to like 25,000 a week. No, no, I'm taking this thing. When you fly over, fly right. through oh. the class. Yeah. Don't, don't fly coach. <laughs> Why? Because you'll oh. be so more comfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I have, uh, I have, let's see, I have air miles. We can use some of those. That's what I do. You know, I got to get rid of those. Um, I have like 300, 350,000. Oh, that'll get uh, you back and forth for, for virtually free. Yeah. But for one person or two? Depends on if you catch them on the right at the right time. You get a fair saver fair. You can get yeah. two. You can get yeah. Two. Yeah. But we got some problems we got to solve here first before we leave. Mm. You know, we want to know we have a home to come home to. You know. Mm. So. I have a question. Speaking yeah. of air, um, how long does it take to get to the airport from your apartment? Which airport? Which airport? Guardia. Guardia. Guardia, hold on. If you're going to rush it's, hour, it's, it's about. It, it's not that far. It, um, what time whether it's it? rush hour or not. Yeah, really? that's true. That's true. But it's like uh, certainly under an hour. Should be under an hour. What time are you going? My flight's at seven thirty. Mm. Morning you, or night? You have to, go right after the, the show time? and take take your time. Okay. I it'll just be know. going with rush hour. It'll be going in the same direction that you'll be going. What? The traffic will be going in the same direction that you'll be going. Oh, okay. So you got to give yourself a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. And you, you need time to drop off your car, yes? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not driving. I'm okay. I'm just She's doing. flying. No, no, I know. I mean, but to drop it off at the airport. Uh, no, too boring. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. I can tell you that LaGuardia is much better than it used to be. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of walking. Sorry involved. about that, folks. I just couldn't stand that thing making all that noise. Oh, that goes again. <laughs> we uh, can't hear it, Alex. I know, but it's driving oh, but it's me. Driving it's, it's driving me nuts. So anyway. Well, well that's anyway. your problem. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. I can just stop it. This time it's showing LaGuardia right now is only 25 minutes from, from Harlem, so that's not bad. Either. I don't know. We haven't taken, we haven't gone LaGuardia, have we? A that's lot that's how I come in all the time. What I can what I can tell you, Mandy, is that that uh, um, when you get into a taxi and uh, um, the first thing that you're going to see is you go across a bridge and you see the entire uh, um, and New York skyline, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. It's one of my favorite parts. Yeah, but uh, how long, uh, it, actually, you know what you do is if you take a lift, let's say, and you order it up, you say LaGuardia, I can do it tonight, actually, and just see how long it says it takes to get you there. Okay. Um, oh, it's, it's, she's going during rush hour. Well, I'll do it during rush hour, maybe tomorrow, and just look at what they charge and what the but the you have to leave uh, right after the show there's no question about it her flight i might have to leave a little bit before maybe wait, okay. wait, wait, her wait. Flight's at seven the flight's seven we get well, 7 30 uh, but i need to be there absolutely. at least absolutely yeah. you know to make sure i don't have to check a bag or anything but i just want to get through security i'm sure security is not as bad as atlanta atlanta is the worst so do you have yeah. TSA pre-check at all? Or? I know. I've applied for it now, but I don't have it now, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't have it. Do it's have amazing. It, you don't have pre-check, do you? Marjorie doesn't have pre-check. We haven't gone on a holiday in so long. I you know something? Every, I just asked you a question. You don't have to start an <laughs> argument. That's fine. I don't know what pre-check is because I can't remember the last time I used it. <laughs> no, it's like I have to go. I have an appointment like the 1st of September and I have to go this to a special place and I have to get my fingerprints done and they'll yeah. do like a background check and then I'll I won't have to stand in regular security. And it's like $85 or $75 a year yeah. or for five check, years, maybe. Check, check, like with your, check with your credit card. They may pay for that. Mine does. So. What, oh, really? Your credit card? Yeah, they uh, they give you one free pre-check okay. and actually global entry as well. Well, Marjorie, we should go for pre-check. Try pre-check. We, we should check out the pre-check. Go get yeah. global entry. 
too. Yeah. That will get you right into the country. We should, back. We should check the pre-check, Marjorie. Yeah, I know I'm we should charge the pre-check, pre-check, but we haven't taken a vacation in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely do it, though. Before, like, you have to have it before you book your flight because you have yeah. to have a number that you put in when you book your flight. Yeah. yeah. Then does that allow you to go past TSA? You have, yeah. You have to go through. Have you, have to, separate you, don't, line. you don't take off your shoes. You don't have to take out your 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 uh, liquids out of the thing so it's easy it's like five or ten minute wait you know max usually on average okay Highly that, recommended. yeah yeah well that's nice yeah but yeah i i will probably have to leave a little bit early but that's okay i just okay. yeah we're having lunch with you and that's the main part of it that's right, that's right. yeah and, and don is going to join us hopefully Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, now it's buzzing again. Oh, it's dying. Oh, it's just I died laughing at y'all's park escapade yesterday. <laughs> Watching was, it back. That was great. <laughs> what, was, what, was, what was funny about well, it? Well, I mean, first of all, just the whole complaining thing. And then <laughs> Marjorie at the end. I mean, I just fell out of my chair. I laughed so hard. I don't know what it was that was funny in that thing. <laughs> I, I, I can bring it up. If people can watch it, then they missed out. What did I do at the end? I'll tell you. It, it had a it had a lot of viewers. Let me look here. Hold on a second. I'll tell you how many viewers so far. On just, uh, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. We're up to 474 views. Oh, jeez. Marjorie, a- read all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> That's what about I want to know is Alex, did you have to sleep on the couch last night? <laughs> Why? What, what did I say? I have, watch, I have to watch the whole thing over again. You need to watch Marjorie because it's so funny. I, mean, <laughs> I, I I I didn't think it was funny. We were just complaining about a lot of stuff. No, the end with my what went on at the end? I have yeah, no kissed. idea. We what at the end. We kissed at the end. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna. You mean before you. the kiss? You yeah, can go before watch. the kiss. Yes, because we <laughs> we kiss each other at the end of everyone, ensuring yeah. keep our audience will vomit. <laughs> yeah. Marjorie had a little issue at the end when she. Yeah. Linda. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, that we won't, we won't that yet. Let's not spoiler alert. We're not. What did I it. do? <laughs> Yeah, you uh, you did something which is uh, not sociable, don't you remember? <laughs> you accused her of it anyway. Well, yeah. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is so me. I See, we have about rules about it. When you get out to our age, we have rules in the house about farting. <laughs> okay, and rule number like one that. is if you fart in bed, you have to spray. We yeah. have two aerosol <laughs> cans on either side of we the We have bed. cans on each side. But yeah. if you're standing and you're if you're not in the bed and you fart, you don't have to do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So the question is if we're in the park and she's sitting right next to me and she then farts, <laughs> does she have to go all the way home and get the spray? No, I'm sure it didn't smell. It didn't smell. It's just, you know, cute. It's a little cute. <laughs> I have to watch it. I don't remember any of that. It is very funny. I thought you were going to hit him. Listen, I'm lucky when you wake up every morning, you remember I'm your husband. <laughs> you know, so. But, uh, you know, it, it really, this one got a lot of people. I don't know why. And between that and that, it's over 500 right now. So, uh, you know, it could be our one of our best sellers. Although I think one went all the way up to uh after a couple of weeks it went up to about 1600 wow. those things do better than anything i do <laughs> you know sure more people watch speed. those than anything i do and they're nothing and now i've got this little thing that you know it's a little like uh, it's a, 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 a selfie stick and i can i just put that on the ground with the tripod part of it out and uh, it, it it just really is still, and you know we can just really act up within the frame. So it's uh, it's nice. Alex, I went to see a friend of yours uh, this weekend at uh, 
with Greg Proops. No, oh, Greg Proops. I haven't talked to Greg in a long time. He, he, used, to do, he used to do my nighttime show about once every couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden, he, I wrote him once. He didn't write back. And I just, Who know, is it? He's Who a comedian. Is it? He's a comedian. Yeah. Oh. Nice guy. Nice guy. Funny guy. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny. Maybe I, I'll try and get a hold of him again. Yeah. Sure. Why don't you join the show? Yeah. If he wants to do one of our things, you know. Oh, this. What, son? I can't live with this air conditioner. It better get cold. By the way, we have a cat coming to visit. <laughs> In oh fact, we well, have a visitor coming for five days. Will the cat be here while Mandy is here? Yes. Cat's coming on Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Her her name is Berta. <laughs> what? Berta. Berta. Berta the princess. But I have a cat for 23 years. My cat lived for 23 really? years. Oh, yeah. wow. That's God. a long time. That's long. I had one that lived to be about 19. Yeah. Uh, but uh, um, anyway, Berta will be here. Berta is a cat owned by... Uh, Natalia. Uh, uh, Natalia, our friend Natalia. And uh, we oh, they're going away on vacation, asked if we would take care of the cat. So we said, okay, we'll take care of the cat. Absolutely. We're yeah. first on the list. We're yeah. godparents. But Marjorie is expecting she's going to be as, as, as funny and as cute as she was when we first had her stay here a couple of years ago. And this <laughs> cat is now an older cat. Yeah. You know? We've had her stay many times, and the first time she was still a kid. Well, well, she's always lived in fairly small apartments. And what would happen is, finally, when she got used to us, which took several days, all right, she would start, I'd go to bed at night, I'd be lying there, and all of a sudden, I hear this thing galloping down our hallway. Yep. Because the whole apartment, from one end to the other, can start in the living room and end at the end of the hallway. And that's a long run. And for a cat who never had that kind of space to run, she would go back and forth and back and forth. And it sounded like I had a little horse in the apartment, you know. <laughs> and I don't know if she was doing that to keep us awake or because she really liked running. Uh, they get the zoomies. They, they like to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how she'll be this time. I don't know if we can count on that. I think she'll just about get out coming out from under the bed by the time her owner comes back to get the cat so you know we may never see the cat yes we will she remembers us you know what the cat used to get pissed off about she would go and hide when we first when she first came in she'd go and hide so you couldn't find her you know but then i'd find her and she got pissed off you know then she'd go somewhere else disappear and you know, uh, I, I, I kind of have the, the, the nature of a cat. I know where cats hide. And I go find the cat again and go, found you. She goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes somewhere else. But, you know, finally she gave up. And, you know, by the end of the time, she was actually on the bed with us, you know, which was nice. She's been here more than once, Alex. Huh? She's been here more than once. Yeah, twice. Twice. Yeah. But do you think she'll remember us? Of course. I don't think so. I don't think there's enough of her smell left in this apartment. We spoil her. She'll remember us. Oh, well, she, she, she'll remember <laughs> us if we don't feed her. You know, I I had a cat. My, uh, my ex-girlfriend uh, had a cat, a Siamese cat, who was just the most brilliant cat you ever met. I mean, incredibly smart and um i would do thanksgiving at their place and the cat would always be you know cats as soon as you bring out a turkey cats are ready okay yep. and people go well don't feed the cat you know this is for people this is people food but i would take little pieces of turkey and throw it down on the ground beside me and the cat would run over and have it right and I do that throughout the whole night. You know, and they keep yelling at me, don't feed the cat. And I'm going, yes, the cats live for this. You know, the, the cat will sit on the counter while the turkey is defrosting. 
and just <laughs> stare at it, you know? So I, uh, uh, um, uh, with the cat, I, so I did that. Next Thanksgiving, we sit down at the table and the cat comes and sits right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> so don't tell me cats don't have memory, you know, especially when it comes know. to turkey. But what? there you go, the princess will remember us. But maybe, maybe I'm 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 not planning on it, you know. And uh, also, she's older now, and fatter, and uh, and we have we have a lot of pictures of her. We took a lot of pictures of her while she was here. Um, that thing keeps buzzing. What is its problem? We can't hear it. You can't hear it. Oh, if you can't, that's okay. It just bothers the crap out of me, you know. Well, that's okay. Here. <laughs> oh, there we go. I, I turned it on high so that the fan noise is louder than the buzzing noise. <laughs> um, anyway, so ha has everybody had a good week? Well, uh, you haven't gone out, have you, Charlie? How how hot has it been? Has it gone under a hundred yet? No, not yet. We're on our forty fifth consecutive day of. Triple digit temperatures. Now that's not normal, is it? I mean, I remember the previous record was twenty seven days in twenty eleven, and, and and this time it's forty five and counting and counting. Wow, because I remember I lived in Houston and I remember it used to get very humid. Yeah, but a hot maybe it got up to ninety, but it was humid, so yeah. you know it was unbearable. Uh, like the remnants of Hurricane Hillary kind of going over us right now here. Yeah, it's then, raining here. Yeah, oh, is it really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? California finally got a uh, a hurricane. Finally got water. Finally got rain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not much. <laughs> well, not here anyway. Not much. Yeah. And we got I mean, Yeah, but I mean, I I that's amazing. You know, I see, I come up with a theory, Mar I told Marjorie this, and, and she kind of agreed with me on it. And that is that um, um, nature uh, is a sentient being. Okay, we don't look upon it as such because we think we're so high on the evolutionary scale. But I think that nature is a sentient being. And what it's saying right now is, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of what you're doing to this planet. Get out. You know, I'm going to make your life a living hell. Well, what they're also does. saying, humans as a as a test didn't work out. Get rid of the human beings. Yeah, I mean, Earth, will, Earth will recover yeah. and then we'll have new species. Whatever aliens started us here or something like that probably made a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, but I mean, really, it's true. It's just that I like I look out in California, you guys out in California. And you it's the only thing you're lacking out there are frogs and boils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's been positively biblical. Yeah. Just amazing. Between the fires, you know, and, and whatever. Yeah, it's it's not good. It's not good. Well, slides, have, the this, the that, the heat. You have you have fires, you know. Uh, mudslides. Yeah. Mudslides. Uh, what other? What other? Oh, we had Tahoe, Tahoe, you know, Reno Tahoe area had, had what seven hundred inches of snow last year. Jesus. <laughs> seven hundred inches. I believe snow? it. I think it was at least that much. It may have been more. I think it was more. Seven hundred inches. Yeah, I'm looking right now. I want to say it was like 900 or something. Maybe it was 900. I don't remember. Wow. I just remember like up by Mono Lake, up by Mono. All snow. That. that is a lot of snow. Yeah. Why? It's not all gone either. I went, no, to, no, I no. went to the top of some houses. 710 at Palisades, uh, Tahoe. Yeah, that's I think you got to look up by Mono or something. Up yeah, on I'll bet you that's Mono. even worse. Yeah. Boy, it's crazy. That's incredible. That's a lot of snow. That's a lot of water when it melts. Yeah, we need it. I remember I had a dog. My parents had a dog, and he came to visit me in Klamath Falls, Oregon, mm -hmm. where I was working. By the way, if you've never seen the middle of nowhere, go to Klamath Falls. 
<laughs> it's not the middle of nowhere, but you can see the middle of nowhere from there. So, you know, <laughs> but anyway, it, it, we had a lot of snow and the dog gets out of the car and he jumps into the snow and he's up to here <laughs> and he just freezes like, I don't know what to do now. You know, pulls out one paw and puts it in there. Well, I guess I can do that. But I, uh, uh, I, I love snow. I mean, snow is wonderful, but I don't like it when you get a lot of it. Because then it becomes, because the worst part about snow is the first minutes, especially here in New York, the first night that it snows and the, the snow is coming down and then you get up uh, the next morning, you have this kind of soundproofing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You know? It's wonderful soundproofing, lack of sound, and uh, it's wonderful. And everything in New York is white, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and then, then people get up and take their cars out and start driving the streets. And then all that snow, which was so beautiful, turns <laughs> to gray slush. Yeah. And it is miserable. You know, Marjorie and I both have boots in case that happens. Although since she bought the boots, there hasn't been a major snowstorm in New York City. You guys didn't get much snow at all last year. No, not, nothing, nothing. I, I remember when I first moved here, we had, every year we had a big snowstorm. I remember, you know, uh, uh, the snow plows coming along and building mountains on street corners, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but we haven't gotten that kind of snow since what? God, I can't remember when. It's just, I think, climatologically, they say everything's moving south or something. So maybe mm -hmm. climatologically. Yeah. Gee, Mike Chisholm is in here today. Yeah, his fire's up where he is. He had a fire up there in his neck of the woods. Yeah. Oh. I hope he's I think okay. They had to evacuate. Huh? I think they had to leave. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. But I, I hope if you're listening, Mike, I hope you're okay, you know, uh, because we miss you being here. And uh, and I don't know, we have less people today than we usually have, but I think maybe everywhere there are fires, people don't call. So, uh, I mean, fires seem to be the predominant thing going on right now. It's really getting, it's getting scary, you know? I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. But um nature is a sentient being that's all i'm saying um and then uh, let's see what else else is happening uh you, you know they're making a big deal out of a non-happening you know the, the news tends to report stuff that doesn't happen mm -hmm. and then talks about it all day sometimes it is a situation something where something almost happened <laughs> And they talk about it all day. But it did. What if, what if it did happen? Well, I don't know. It would be this, but it didn't happen. Well, then we don't have to worry about it happening. But if it had happened, well, the latest is that Trump is not showing up for the debate. Wouldn't you call that a non-happening story? Mm -hmm. And they're discussing it. They're discussing the fact that somebody is not showing up. Well, he was going to have a press conference today, and he canceled yeah. that, too. So. Yeah, because his lawyers told him to. Yeah, bullshit. Well, what he did is he wanted to talk about his uh, the uh, Georgia thing and why he's not guilty of it or anything like that. And they said, well, just don't say a goddamn word. Yeah, yeah. he was going to print, produce absolute proof that the Georgia election was stolen. He's going to release his health care plan, too. <laughs> <laughs> He, um, he is, he's, uh, you know, but the big mistake is that the press is doing is they're giving him way too much publicity. Yeah. He thrives on this and he wins elections on this. Don't they remember what they did before? You know? Can't we say literally that before he uh, um, was elected because people wouldn't just kept talking about him? He, there was no oxygen left in the room. And uh, if they, you know, they keep doing this, uh, he, this guy could well be our next president. Oh, oh. oh. 
cares of that. But uh, you know, I, I, you know, I wish, I wish I could say something good about the man, but I just can't say anything about the. Oh, here comes Mike Chisholm. Let's oh. see what happens. See if he's okay. Uh, let's see. Is he going to be in his studio, or is he going to be somewhere else? <laughs> Hello, Mike. Can you hear us? Yep, yeah, there he is. Where are you? Where are you? I'm in my office upstairs right now. Well, why aren't you downstairs? Um, I'm actually I'm only here. <laughs> I'm just coming to say hi right now. I don't know if you've heard about my area or not. I know that, but well, we were worried about you. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. No, we're okay. Um, it was a hairy weekend, to say the least, though. Uh, Friday night especially was... Uh, Thursday night and Friday night were pretty, pretty terrifying. Really? Yeah, we, um, uh, it, it was, it, you could see the glow of the fire throughout the entire city over a much longer period than um, uh, common sense would ever, ever think would be the case. But yeah. it was, uh, it was devastating in, 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 in its power and how much has happened and Wow. About three and a half kilometers away from us is where our landfill is, and our landfill um, embers from the big fire carried over the lake and landed on our landfill and lit it on fire as well. So we ended up having uh, fire, <laughs> one major, major fire, and then two smaller ones on my side. Um, the landfill is right beside the university. I'm looking out my office and seeing the university from here, and... Uh, so it was a it was a pretty crazy weekend. We had uh, relatives over who were evacuated, staying with us. Um, but things the last couple of nights have been calmer oh. and less, less wind as well. So it's given the chance for the firefighters to to really really make some headway on the thing. But the thing is still over ten thousand hectares big. It's oh, yeah. yeah, but it, it does. You're not threatened by it anymore. Uh, not. <laughs> not as threatened i mean when the wind blows up there's there's raining ash like i'm looking outside and the ash is falling down mm. well when it's windy it's flaming ash and uh all weekend you know i was coating the, the 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 townhouse down with the garden hose wetting it all down because there was a few reports of of folks where um where ash would land on a on a roof or a bush yeah, that's and what happens start a, yeah start a yeah. fire yeah yeah so so anyway, um, pretty crazy. Gee, you know what they should in places where there are lots of fires, your house should have like these sprinklers all around it mm. that you can just turn them on and they spring spray over the house and everything. What's your roof made out of, Mike? Uh, we've got the um, straw. <laughs> yeah, straw. <laughs> the but straw. I made mine out of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's the uh, composite it's, stuff. It's, it's the yeah, it's the roof, uh, the roof tile. Um, that's yeah. yeah, yeah, the asphalt, the the asphalt and uh, mm. tile. Yeah, so pretty bonkers. Um, well, you know, a lot of these places that are on fire now, things like a hur hurricane in California. California mm -hmm. built their houses to beat, you know, to survive earthquakes. Yeah, but they didn't build them like they do probably in uh, Florida to survive hurricanes. So they they weren't ready for it on any level, you know, and that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, but you know, Kevin made his home out of bricks, you know. So. <laughs> yeah. By the way, thank you very much. Kevin helped me with sure. the other day because I'm so I hate my HP printer so much. And I only hate it because of the way the company runs the whole thing. That you you have to use their ink, otherwise it doesn't it, it won't take your ink. And if you run out of ink and you try somebody else's, of course it's not going to accept it. But more than that, if you run out of ink, your scanner doesn't work. Oh it shuts the whole machine down. It, it shuts the whole machine down. I mean, I hate a company that does that. So I just, for the longest time, uh, Kevin has uh, said to me that the uh, Epson is a great little machine. So I got it the other day. I bought one, and I'm, I'm giving my old one away. I just I bought the high-end uh, 
I think it's the one you bought too, Kevin. And uh, but I need the scanning, and I couldn't find any any program to make the scanner work. I paid twenty nine dollars for a program that made the scanner work, but it didn't do the job completely. All of a sudden, I, I notice over at Epson, oh, you can download this package of little stuff. And you do that, all of a sudden your scanner is working. And I loaded in like 10 pages to see if it would work. And sure enough, it does, you know, and then I make it into a PDF file. So I love this little, uh, little printer so far. And the printing quality is terrific. And it doesn't have cartridges, which mm. is better for the environment because they're made out of plastic and there are four of them per load. Okay. Um, what is it lasts it? forever. Huh? What does it use, Alex? It uses, uh, uses all, uh, inks. Inks. Tanks. Poured ink in. Yeah. And it's funny, the ink, they, uh, they have it so that you put it in and then it just, it just sucks it down. Uh, and uh, it'll last forever. It has this so, little notch you put it in because it's got little things on top. And what I'm told, I went online, I went, what happens if you take the yellow and accidentally put it in the blue? <laughs> okay. I don't you, think they fit. You they can't do that. You oh, can't, no. exactly. You can't do it. So it, so you're safe. They, they thought of everything with this little machine. And um, so now it will probably... Take me, he said, a year to use all that, you know, um, ink that I bought. But if I want to rebuy it, I can buy some cheap ink or I can buy theirs for like $53 or something. And that's half the price of a set of cartridges for, uh, for the HP. What a racket. <laughs> it is. Well, he, the HP is being sued. Uh, they're being sued by those people who somehow can't get their scanner to work. They figure that at least the scanner should be able to work if, if you don't have ink in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, what's his problem? You know, so uh it's 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 going it's going okay, you know. Uh and um but I, I want to thank Kevin because he told me the program to go look for. And it, HP actually listed on the uh, instructions here, but it is so small. And so unobtrusive. I mean, it should be a big thing in big bold letters. You know, go here to go get the scanner working. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I think it was in mind when I bought it several see, years ago. Well, let's see here, what, what is where is it? It's just you yeah, don't read the directions. Yeah, so. here nobody yeah. reads the directions. Yeah, but here install software, and then it says Windows, blah blah blah, blah and then it has some stuff about Chromebook. And then it says insert a uh, product CD, which we, there was no product CD. Uh, blah, 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 blah. For the latest software, visit Epson, www.epson.com forward slash support. Well, that's where yeah. you go, we'll go to get this yeah. whole thing installed. And the other night when we were sitting there talking, I, I looked it up and I went, oh, there it is. And the same time you said, hey, I'd look what I just found. And I said, okay, there we yeah. go. And I and I found it just in, the first See, one. See, my mine came with that and said download this well, program, one, and it doesn't yeah. even say that now. First one, I tried installing all their different programs, and then all of a sudden, I saw at the very top it said, uh, "Go here and have it install everything." Yeah. So I did it, and it was fine. Then I did it on all the other machines that I have. You know, put it on. And the market. firmware will come up automatically on your machine. Every once in a while, it'll say install the update the firmware and all that stuff. And you just push the button and it goes in. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I thank you very much because my life was, I didn't know what I was going to do. I think I had buyer's remorse for a while there. The only I, thing that I, the, the only thing about it is it does have that Epsom noise, you know, and it does sit there and all of a sudden it'll start cleaning the heads or something and make that noise but oh I hp heard, is quieter but i haven't heard that yet oh it'll it'll all of a sudden go tr -tr 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 -tr. you've it, complained about it on the show a couple of times I, and i have to mute myself there's something else you have to replace in there but i can't remember the name of it. i haven't replaced it once every two years a maintenance box or something it's called oh i haven't had to do that Very simple. Had just three years screw, i think one screw and then you pull the thing out Maybe that's I why I get a stick, the, stick a new one in. It's very easy. But, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I haven't yeah. replaced anything. In my well, then probably it's no problem. You mm. know, we don't use it that much. You know, we use it, but we well, don't. I have a teenager here and she does books. <laughs> really? And, uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. 
Yeah. Well, I hate companies today. I've been saying, you know, I hate companies today <clears throat> that try to lock you into stuff. Uh, yeah. That's one thing I'm sick of. You know what the other thing I'm sick of is when I'm doing something with a company, I'm filling out something and they then want to send me a, a six digit code. <laughs> to prove it's me. It's all the Screw time. you. You know, quit sending oh, me these, all these codes. Just, I just want your, they should have a little checkbox. I don't mind if my identity is stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Let them be bored. Yeah, they go, oh, we have to make sure this is you. So yeah. Sure. Why would I fill in all that information if I wasn't me? <laughs> you know, I mean, even identity thefts don't have access to all that you know information so i i just i'm tired of that you know i mean marjorie said to me the other day she hates computers you know and i agreed with her and i'm the guy who loved loved computers i knew everything about computers how they work how they operated how it could change this how i could add that you know if if you had a computer problem call me i could solve it for you you know and you would talk to a person well, uh, after having to, of course, go through five different moments. No, but in the early press button days, one if you want to talk to Alex. Press button two if you have a computer <laughs> problem. But no, but I was like really into computers. And I mean, I even did some programming and things like that. You had an Amiga back in the day. I remember talking to you about it. Oh, the, the Amiga was the best computer ever created. Yeah. Um, and... Um, I don't know. How do you feel, Charlie? Do you are you resenting computers to a certain extent at this point? Because you're you're the guy who's all, all like me, all into the science of it all. Yeah, I, mean, I don't resent computers. I, I worked with them for thirty years. So yeah, but you worked with them when they weren't annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you I worked know? on a big <laughs> IBM mainframe. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, it changed. It has changed because. It, it you know something good is invented and then it's used by human beings who then <laughs> say i have an idea how we can use this let's steal steal paula's identity you know we can do that with this computer we can do this and we can do that and they may, they've made lives people's lives miserable and the there's even a point at which it make it's miserable and it shouldn't be and that's when like have you called amazon lately Oh, okay. These are people who, if it isn't on the computer, they can't do it for you. Nope. You know, in the old days, hey, I'll just route around this and I'll go around that and I'll do this and I'll do that. And you know, you'll be up and running again. I mean, Marjorie spent how many days with Amazon just trying to get them to give her the money back on something she didn't get? $200 back. It took five months. Mm. Yeah. Oh. One call after another, after another, oh. after another. And then I got, I got, uh, I was supposed to have a delivery of those ink cartridges from the third party. But then, by the way, wrote me after it had been shipped. Well, they might not work with your computer if it has the newest software. And you're going, you said there it works with the Apple Plus. That's why they're, they're HB Plus. That's why I bought it. But anyway, so I, I'm not getting that. For day one, I didn't get it. Day two, I didn't get it. Day three, they didn't deliver. They weren't delivering. I mean, I've never seen it. And finally, I got Amazon to give me my money back. But geez almighty, you know, in the old days with Amazon, hey, it didn't get here. Okay, we'll send you a new one. Uh, no, and if the other one, if the other one comes, either use it or give it to a friend or throw it away. Yeah. Alex, how about with my replacement phone? Oh, yeah, well, that, that that was not Amazon. It was FedEx. It was yeah. FedEx. Oh my kept God. saying they were trying to deliver and they never were deliver trying mm -hmm. anything, you know. I mean, all you have to do, they even had our phone number. They could have called her, you know, and they did. So, you know, and then you get on there and you complain about it. Well, you got to go to the website to complain about it. And wait a minute, now that I'm on the website, what do I have to do? Oh, I have to put in the six pin numbers or whatever, <laughs> you know. 
they just said, I don't make it more complicated, but do you put special instructions in your um in your profile on Amazon? Like yes. you don't need a code, put your yes. get your ass on the oh. el- elevator and go yeah. upstairs. Yeah, all that I'm stuff. Yeah, hear the bell. Here's the telephone number. Okay, okay. Yeah, because they're supposed the way, to look at that a, and they look that, at mine. That's in my Amazon profile. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for the delivery instructions. Yes. Yep. Yeah, okay. Sure. All right. Because they're supposed to look at that and they'd look at mine. It's probably different out there, I'm sure. Well, you know, what's funny. You got a lot of apartments out there and being a delivery guy in my past days. Yeah. They it, don't look. <clears> yeah, they, they probably don't. And well, it's third party. It's third yeah. party. Any, yeah, the third party that delivers regularly this building knows how to get in, knows where the apartments are, and so on. But this yeah, but is getting they don't have regular delivery guys coming through laser ship, or as yeah. I like to call it, laser shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about lazy ship? A lazy yeah. ship. Yeah, that's good. That's even that's more. a problem when they're handed off to third and fourth parties. Yeah, yeah. and I'm telling you, that was. You know, they, they, they couldn't figure out what a doorbell was. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Well, and they're, they're depending on GPS. I've had guys deliver stuff to our court here and we've got like six, seven houses in the court and I was across the street and I said, Oh, just give it to me. And he said, no, no, no. I have to walk, you know, across the street, stand in front of the house and take the picture. I said, just give it to me. You know, he said, no, I have to walk over there. My GPS has to see me that I was at your house at, you know, X, Y, Z address, and then push the button and take the picture. And then I can walk back over here and give it to you. Oh, oh, oh my God. Geez. Yeah. They're so dependent on the GPS. Well, no, I, a lot of these guys <laughs> like Am- Amazon takes pictures of where they left it and I can figure out uh, what neighborhood they left it in by that. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, UPS I does that even too. Our, one of our doorways with that picture, where that. Yeah, picture. USPS does that and everything. I mean, you if you it's if it's misdelivered, they can track it down to where it was delivered, but they can't track it down to who picked it up and took it away. Yeah. Yeah. So we have like what we call four buildings in this yeah. building, in the uh, courtyard, and, the, and those are entrances to various sections yeah. of the building, right? And um, we always put down building three what is so hard to understand about building? there's even a big letter on the door says yeah didn't three. you have the i and the l that was mixed up at one point no what i do is eight i and what eight i do is lower eight, case I, I, I go yeah, eight yeah. lower case i so there's a dot above the, yeah 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 so then there's no question about that either you know um, but sometimes i had boxes that didn't have the apartment number on it Mm. you know yeah. somehow they covered it up with something or they they slapped a thing on it a label yeah and then label. It covered it. but you know they do have my phone number they can call me right they always ask for the phone can't deliver without the phone number and then they don't use it yeah yes. never never yeah. you know so am i complaining too much again yeah that's <laughs> going on about uh, but i think i have timed it at 43 minutes now <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think when you get to be my age, you have the right to bitch. Yeah, you that's know? right. Yeah, the right. That's to right. Complain. Anybody over sixty-five has the right to bitch. That's I right. Think, and I think we make good use of it. So, <laughs> uh, Mandy, get ready. You know, I know you're <laughs> much younger than the rest of us. You're a young. Uh, I was going to say, should I be prepared somehow? That yes, I'm, absolutely. Yeah. With complaining. I still have a little bit of time left. I'm not allowed to complain yet. It goes you can fast, practice, Mandy. You can practice. Pra- you can practice. Yeah, you're oh. right, Charlie. You, you can practice. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's just, I want the world to run efficiently and decently. In other words, look at people as human beings, not as customers. Okay. Oh, you already got a problem. I know. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I expect. I think... I think the importance of a society it's, is its civility. And I think we've lost all sense of civility. Absolutely. So, call me a, call me a you know, riper. But I, I, I have to go in about two minutes here, but, but I'll say this. Uh, it's frustrating when there is something where common sense says it should be one way, but then 
bureaucracy or or culture or other things they they take the common sense answer yeah and then they throw it out the window and i'll i'll, I'll make it uh you know uh, an example of what we're going through with this fire here with this fire so in canada they just recently i, I sent you something alex last week where you know uh somebody posted a news article and we can't view it on our social media here in canada that's just a rule that just just passed down and what you see is you see uh, on facebook or whichever your favorite social media site is, people post the link from a news source and it says this view, this cannot be viewed in Canada. Mm -hmm. So on Friday night, when they were adding evacuation zones and it was the news outlets who were reporting these evacuation zones, we could not use our social media to, to put it up to alert people around us about oh. it. Oh, and, terrible. Right. And, and, and so, okay, I understand what, you know, that there are, there's an argument here happening between big tech and, be, and between these news organizations, but common sense goes out the window when the world is on fire and you can't use one of the most potent delivery systems right. of information ever to deliver information. And that's, uh, that's, that's frustrating when things like that happen. When I think, I think everybody up there should gripe, but then again, Canadians don't gripe. So uh, <laughs> I get know. that a lot from hockey stories from Canada. Cause I want to read the Canadian hockey stuff. And it says, you can't see that here. Cause you're in America. <laughs> really? But that's not emergency stuff. By the way, Don Giller is here. So you can leave because he's your replacement. <laughs> 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 You can get a, a VPN and and identify yourself as Canadian. Yeah, and you be able yeah. to get get in. Yes, that's true. But See? the average, like I think about, you know, my mother, <laughs> she she she's yeah. not bad. Like you can do that. You're right. There are ways around it. But when you know the common sense again goes out the window. Like I mean, you think about broadcasters out there. Well, broadcasters have to devote a certain amount of time to community or public news or whatever. The emergency broadcast system. They got to be able to be a parallel for that you'd think that these social media companies might be held to a similar standard or maybe that's the solution when it's an emergency. I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that you guys, thanks for asking about me. Hey, and, uh, you're not even, you're not stay even, safe, Mike. You're not yeah. even, you're not even over. How old are you now? 47, 47, but you're, I'm an old soul, Alex. And that's, you know. oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was just going to say though, you you shouldn't be able to gripe, but You've done a very good job of it. And I think because you're a grandfather, that does give you the right to gripe automatically. Outstanding. I'm in the club. Thank Appreciate you. Good luck you. with the fires up there. Thank you very much. We're we're stable right now. Thank you so much. Thank you okay. for being a friend, too, Don. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Peace and love. Peace and love. Love and peace. Hello, Don Giller. How are you? I'm I'm I, I just got in. I'm sorry. I I, I had an implant filled today. Mm. and it didn't set properly ow uh yeah. it looks great i mean uh, yeah it looks great but but uh they, they haven't put the crown on it right it's not it, that is the crown oh, oh there oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. um but as soon as it gets loose i call them again and 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 if it gets loose then they'll be able to they they put it in they can't get it out it's stuck yeah well i know it's in there but I don't think that's what's loose. I think what's probably loose is the crown. No, it's uh, I'll I'll trust the dentist on this one. Um, he he screwed it in, but but it's a hexagon screw, and something got messed up. It's in there tight, but it's not in properly. You have to go back in and do more. Once I, I, when I feel it loose. Then I call them and I'll I'll come down and and they'll uh, they'll they'll, uh, they'll yeah. take care. Then then they'll be able to take it out. I've heard of implants falling out and I I don't understand that because mine are yeah. all solid, you know. Yeah, no, I, I had I had another one on the other side uh, in 2015, 2014 mm. to fifteen, and it's fine. Yeah. So yeah, it should well, it should be permanent. Yeah, my problem. Are we yeah. going to see you Monday? Uh, unless my tooth gets really loose. <laughs> um, well, you can change your name. Uh, you can make you can change your last name to Latrec, and the first name. <laughs> oh, that's awful! And the <laughs> oh, oh God! I'll change it to Bennett, and that should get me in really fast. <laughs> can be known as Tooth Loose Latrec. Yeah, that was a you're, stretch. You're <laughs> proud of that, aren't you? 
I'm very proud of that. What do you mean that's a stretch? That's a great pun. That's a grade A pun. Come on. You know. Um, I, I was always very good at puns. Plainly. Huh? Plainly. I had very complicated <laughs> puns too. But uh, anyway, so uh, you know something about, about puns? They say that it's the, it's one of the highest forms of comedy because it's the most intelligent, that smart people are punsters. Yep. And that you, are you a punster, uh, Charlie? Yeah, way back. Yeah. I, I used to uh, do a, a ton. A ton. Um, what was the... What was the, the what was the pun, yeah, pun offs in college? Yeah. What? We used to have pun offs where we would go hours trading puns and building on the last pun back and forth. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, so we're in in the area of uh, of, of of the level of pun. Where did tooth loose the trick? <laughs> how high good. is how how high is that? On the that's actually pitch. pretty good. See, <laughs> see, <laughs> see. So don't don't give me a bad time about it. You know, I'm 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 just so used. To, my dad was full of puns, and most of them were just god awful. Yeah, uh, he had <laughs> he had one really good one, and 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 that one I'll always remember. Um, which I'm trying to think, and I can't remember. Um, it was a, a what do you call a a Chinese health store? Uh, all walk and yo play. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that was this good one. <laughs> See? That's very good. Yeah, they're judged on how much you groan. Yes. Yeah. It's, not, it's not a laugh. It's a groan. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, they are. The groan factor is very important in a pun. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um. I'm trying to remember what was the pun that I I did once. It was like the greatest pun I ever did, and I can't even remember what it was now. There you go. But I can't remember that Marjorie's my wife, so it's. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? I've never been married before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I think about it, I, I go, I've been married four times. I'm the fourth. <laughs> and I hear, you know, Elizabeth Taylor was married eight times. So but I, I was married for half the amount of marriages that that, that Elizabeth Taylor had. <laughs> you know, why didn't I stop after the first one? Shouldn't I have learned my lesson? But no, did. I went out and got married again. And again and again <laughs> until you got it right. Yeah. Thank you. No, until I got tired <laughs> of getting divorced. <laughs> you got it right this time, Alex. Yeah, I got it. I got it pretty right. You know, uh, I, I I like to say I'd like to complain, um, but because you know sometimes it's not easy. But never. but I'm in the other room, so we can't. Well, when you were when you were married, Paula, you argued, right? Of course. See, and arguing has nothing to do with whether you've got something good going or not, you know. So, is, where where's where's Mandy going? We're on a tour with Mandy. <laughs> is she going out to the airport to catch the plane to New York? What is it? <laughs> no, I'm leaving for the day. Five o'clock. Yeah, well, right. have a clock whistle. Oh, thank He's you. Leaving the room me because it's time for us to bring the show, the show to a close. Oh, I like it. It's a whole different angle of you. <laughs> you know, uh, it's really nice. Uh, let, let's wait. Let's wait till she gets to the parking lot. I'm Sorry, <laughs> she's going outside so she can fart. Uh, what? <laughs> what? I didn't hear that. He's, he's, he's going outside so she can fart. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. I've been holding it all day. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's wait till she gets to the uh, to the uh, outside. How far? Okay, now I got to run, man. Now there's pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. I got into the heat. Oh, is that oh, are you yeah. out? Are you out there now? You Wait, but you're frozen though. I think we lost you. The yeah, wire. Got it. Broke off. Wi -Fi. Went out of the Wi-Fi range. It looks like a.
Clairol commercial right now. So yeah. <laughs> wind blowing in the hair. I'm going to see if I can take a picture of that before she goes away. <laughs> Send it to her. Oh, oh, oh my there God. she is. There you just she got is. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how, how hot is it out there, Mandy? Uh, it's probably not even 90. It might be 90, 91. Oh, gee, that's cool. It's a cold front. Came <laughs> a cold front? Sorry, I don't mean to brag, Charlie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's you know, uh, 107 here. Ugh. It's actually showing 103 right now in my car. Mm. We got our electric bill for August, and it actually wasn't as high as I thought it would be. No. Yeah, the but your office isn't over, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but I'm saying for the month, I in August, where we had the air conditioner on nonstop. Yeah. From the middle of July to the middle of it August. Should have, it should have cost us more. Day. It actually cost us less than two months earlier. Hmm. You know. No, but what I said to, to uh, Paula about arguing, uh, there's an marriage going where you don't argue. You know, that's all part of the process. It's just that uh, you don't give up the marriage because you just argue. Right, Don? Are, are we going to follow her home? <laughs> oh, he, because I think, Mandy, you should call the police. <laughs> yeah, that's called stalking. We're stalking you. Yeah, we're all stalkers. Look at I've this. called from the car before, I think. Yeah. yeah. Look, she drives. Yeah. yeah. I can't. This is, well, it's good. You and, guys are hey, go listen, it's time for us to bring this to a close. Yeah. I, I, as I say, I love this show because I don't mind doing it. And that's important. And we talk about nothing. And and it's just a bunch of friends, <laughs> a bunch of nice people relating to each other. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, Brian would probably be here today, but he's off to a car show. So Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much, Marjorie, for having joined us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she said, mm -hmm. She's now taking up the Shecky Square. That's what she's taking. <laughs> uh, 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 Charlene, uh, absolutely wonderful to have you here. You didn't say anything today, but, you know, you're always there and you do say stuff. <laughs> always here. <laughs> always there. Uh, Paula, you know, you're, you're a gem. We, we just love you. We all, all always say in this house, oh, we love Paula. <laughs> love you too. Yeah. I mean, and I know a lot of her friends, and I like her friends, but you, I really like. I mean, when you when you come to visit us, I go, good, she's coming to visit, you know? We get nice discussions and everything like that. Up you know? to again. Yeah. And uh, Charlie, uh, why don't you come visit us? Because we have a lot of people here coming from Texas, as you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we, I'm sure they can find you a free hotel to stay in. <laughs> all you have to say is- Just you're grab a bus. And the job. <laughs> yeah, I'm just riding the bus that they send up. No, just say you're from Texas. That's all you have to say. And you get you get a room and you get a room and you get a room. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks to Len LaFrisco, who's been sure. suffering pestilence and rain, fire, <laughs> um, and, and that's frogs and and uh, and boils. Locusts, I think, yeah. Yeah, uh, locusts too. I forgot that. But don't the the part you're really going to love is the boils. They never, nobody ever says they aren't fun. Uh, thank you so much, Mandy. We'll see you here next week, sitting right beside me. And That's Don so Giller exciting. will probably be sitting right beside Marjorie. Right. Okay. So um, lying on my bed, sitting next to Marjorie. <laughs> keep I'll your, keep I'll your bring... damn hands off of her, Don. I'll, I'll bring some gas X. <laughs> I like what you said about farting. Uh, you get <laughs> you wrote yesterday. You get it. I get a free su a, a subway train all to myself be by farting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. yes. Huh? What you say? Not... Oh, wait, Halton. What did you say? Uh, I said no, good. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Good strategy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. What What did you say? What was that thing you wrote? Uh, uh, if you, you you get your own subway car if you don't bathe for a week. Oh, Bill, <laughs> that's it. And of course, Kevin Stopper. Kevin, you know, absolutely wonderful. I, you're a gem, and thanks for helping me. And finally, we finish off with our good friend Law 
and loyal friend, Edward Berger, who signs off by saying, That's all, folks. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye. Have a nice bye. week. Bye. See you next week bye. with special bye. guest Edward. Or there are uh, no. and and uh, and, uh, Mar- uh, and, <laughs> and, and uh, safe trip. Uh, okay, bye bye.